Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to reading SCP-2420. Again. I tried yesterday, and I just... Oh, yes, decided to just not process the video at all. So today, we're trying again. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I'm number SCP-2420, Object Class Neutralize. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2420 is currently being held in the Low Security Humanoid Containment Wing at Site-213. As of Incident 2420-A, all anomalous activities exhibited by SCP-2420 has been observed to be neutralized. Possible permanent and containment despite the cessation of all anomalous activities being reviewed by the Ethics Committee. Uh, this is a picture of SCP-2420's pet taken before its death. You'll understand what uh, they're talking about in just a minute. Here are the previous containment procedures. SCP-2420 is to be held in a humanoid containment cell in a specialized containment wing at Site-213. Due to SCP-2420's severe depression, it is to be administered by propion and Citalopram twice daily with azolam administered as needed. SCP-2420 is allowed to create an instance of SCP-2420-1 twice a week for three hours at a time. To be lengthened or lessened depend on cooperation and the current mental state of SCP-2420. Outside of monitored contact with SCP-2421, all domesticated dogs for or canis lupus familiaris are to be kept outside of SCP-2420's awareness. A pool of domesticated dogs are to be on hand at Foundation Kennels to be used as SCP-2421 instances on a rotating basis. Former instances of SCP-2421 maintain no anomalous traits and can, and can be adopted by, by Site-213 personnel or reintegrated into nearby animal shelters. Testing of SCP-2420 has been discontinued. Any recommendations for possible or resumed testing are to be brought before researcher Hydog. Description SCP-2420 was a human, formerly John Redacted, who created instances of SCP-2421, which took the appearance and memories of the farmer's pet dog out of domesticated dogs or canis lupus familiaris. Given those similarities in the manifestation of deceased pets, a possible link to SCP-3737 is being investigated. The effects occurred whenever SCP-2420 was made aware of any dog or any dog was made aware of SCP-2420. Repeated testing showed that only domesticated dogs were affected, with wolves, coyotes, and other canids being immune to the anomalous effects. Dogs of any size would become an instance of SCP-2421 and showed no pain in their transformation, aside from a general confusion found when brought outside of SCP-2420's influence. SCP-2420 showed no anomalous effects beyond its ability to create instances of SCP-2421. Testing showed no upward limit on the number of instances of SCP-2421 that could exist at a time. SCP-2420 instances were completely invulnerable to any form of damage. Attempts at DNA testing were rendered void when it was discovered that nothing could or cut SCP-2420-E1's fur. Any other tests into the indestructibility of SCP-2421 were deemed unnecessary, partly due to the fragile nature of SCP-2420's mental state. While SCP-2421 instances showed no need for or water or food, the instances would eat whatever was presented to them, with various poisons showing no effect. Former instances of SCP-2421 that were dissected after being fed showed no signs of having recently ingested any food. Despite SCP-2421 instances taking the form of, of SCP-2420's Boris Terrier, 
Photographs and videos of SCP-2421 consistently displayed the original body of the dog in question. This resulted in physical discomfort and mental distress regarding certain photos and videos, namely one showing St. Bernard's being able to fit through a small all aperture. But the images themselves maintain no otherwise anomalous effect. SCP-2420 Initial Interview Log This is the first interview to take place after SCP 2420's admitted to Site 213. Good morning, SCP 2420. I heard you've had some trouble sleeping. Xanax. Pardon me? Anxious. Helps me sleep. Give me some, I guess. Also, turn off the air conditioning. Absolutely. However, I'm not merely here to see to your physical and to your mental and physical state, as I'm sure you may have guessed. I'd like to hear about your relationship with your pet before she was deceased. Maddie. Part, ma'am, you can call me whatever you want, but she has a name. It's Maddie, short for Matilda. Her short, her full, her full name is Matilda May. Matilda made a redacted, I guess. Duly noted, but please tell me about Maddie. Well, uh, she was my dog, I guess. I got her from a neighbor. They're not like a breeder, but they had a border terrier, me and another border terrier, and they were looking to uh, give way to uh, puppies, I guess. And I was lonely. My parents died. But I guess you know that. They left me a house and it's screwed up lonely to be the only one living in some dead at person's house, you know? Mm-hmm. I came to their house, their backyard, really. And they they had all the puppies is kind of, you know, all meshed up. I mean some uh cage. Hey, can we turn a fan on? It's really hot. Like, it's really hot. SCP-2420 begins to hyperventilate and hug its chest. Hard to breathe. Certainly, SCP-2420. But please, calm down. I promise. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to hear your relationship with the... Uh, with Maddie. You were telling me about the day you chose her from her litter? Okay. Okay, I saw her, yeah. She wasn't the biggest, but I <laughs> know her right away. She was a bit of a bully. She was playing, yeah, but you got the sense she didn't have the patience for the other dogs. They bothered her, and she wanted them to know it. And when I came over, she was the last to come see me. The others, they just jumped up trying to get to me, wanting attention, wanting to be picked up. But she just sat down and she stared at me for a good bit. I stared back. It was weird, I guess. But I felt like she was sizing me up. She came over real confident, kind of pushed aside her brothers and sisters. And I held my hand out to her. She clamped down on my hand, but not hard. It wasn't mean. She was never mean. Not to me. From then, I guess I knew I had to get her. Did she ever exhibit any anomalous abilities? For that matter, before this, have you ever been able to do something that to be blunt, SCP-2420, felt impossible. If I thought I was magic, I don't think I would have been a telemarketer living in my parents' house. And Maddie? No. Maddie was definitely not uh, magic, I mean. Heck, she was afraid of rainstorms. She thought the vacuum cleaner was a real animal. She was a smart dog, though. Always seemed to be more person than dog, yeah, but not magic. 
I always thought, you know, she could learn a bunch of tricks if she wanted it to, but she clearly had no interest. Mere tricks were beneath her. She carried herself like a little queen, I guess. So nothing strange in her life had ever led you to believe that she could be capable of this kind of anomaly? She was normal. I mean, like I said, she wasn't really a big fan of other dogs, but she'd play with them. It was always like, you know, they were beneath her, but she'd chase them. She was a uh, real territorial. Maddie killed a couple um birds and stuff. A squirrel once. But I got caught up on the fence. Never thought she'd ever catch one. Heck, you should have seen her. Blood all over her muscle, so dang proud of herself. Extraneous that Ada removed. But uh I guess you wanna hear about how she died, right? That would be quite helpful, SCP-24 or 20. Even that was, I guess, sadly normal. I was taking her for a walk. She always loved walks. I mean, heck, I guess all dogs like walks, but she liked them a lot more. I don't know, maybe that's crazy. But we were walking near the street and, uh, uh can we turn up the air conditioning just a little bit? Certainly. If you'd rather not talk about this right now, we could discuss it another time. No, I'm fine. I guess she, uh, didn't die after all, right? SCP-2420 laughs and coughs. <laughs> A car hit her. I guess I wasn't paying attention. People said I was lucky I didn't get hit. But... I'd rather have gotten hit. Maybe I wouldn't have died. Squished her down the middle. It was horrible. The person driving the car was some teen girl. It wasn't her fault. I was jaywalking. She was young. It wasn't her fault. I knew her mother. She lives on the street. But I couldn't stop crying. There she was. Waltzing Matilda May. There she was when she was dead. Bleeding everywhere. I took her in my arms. She wasn't breathing. I didn't get to be there for her last breath. I think she died when I was crying. When I was stunned by all the, the stuff. And what was done with the body? I took her. I walked her. It wasn't that far. Said I was in shock, but I knew what I was doing. I got a shovel from my garage. My dad's shovel. I got her favorite blanket. Guess it was my blanket, really. A big green one. She always loved it. It was mine, but may have well been in hers. She was more comfortable with it than anyone else could have been, you know? You give a dog a blanket and you swear no human could ever be so cozy. So I wrapped her up. All broken. God, she was so small. I dug a hole in the middle of my backyard. There was a spot where they shaved the trees in reach. She'd lay there. Waltzing Matilda, may I have this dance. That's why I named her after, you know, the song. I buried her. She should uh, still be there. You guys can check it out. No one moved it. Certainly, SCP-2420. Thank you for your cooperation. If you want to stop now, I would certainly understand. It has been a tough day for you. No, it's fine. There's only a little bit more anyway. Can I... Can I, uh, continue? 
Absolutely. I was going to kill myself the day I noticed that she was uh, everywhere. Her dogs were just a normal old walk. I was going to uh, jump off a bridge. I don't know if I really was gonna, to be honest, ma'am, but it felt like I was gonna. It felt right. But things were weird. I never noticed so many border terriers in my life. The neighbors, all of them identical, and they looked just like Maddie. I thought I was losing it. They were trying to get under the gate, trying to climb up, barking at me, carrying on. I uh, didn't notice anything was weird until I got near the dog park. And that's where we found you, correct? <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's where you all found me. I just... I don't know why I got there. Wasn't even near the bridge. Wasn't even all that close. I think I just wanted to see some before I died. They were always so nice. Dogs. But they were all border terriers and they were all running to me. So many of them. And they all, well, they all stopped in front of me. Owners were yelling, people were screaming. They were slipping out collars that had gotten too big. They were uh, breaking free from everything to come to me. And they encircled me. They were all her. I knew it immediately. They were all her. One walked up to me and I bit my hand. Gentle. And that's when I fainted. Then... Well, I'm here. Excellent. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Is there anything you need before this is concluded? Uh, yeah, just one. Just one thing. Yes? Does it hurt them? Does what she does hurt them? I heard they stop being her when I'm not there. Are they okay? Yes, when they're not instances of SC I mean, when they cease to be Maddie, there's no pain in the switch, either to or from. None of the dogs have, have exhibited any signs, anomalous or not, of being in any way affected by Maddie and your effect. And you, you're not going to hurt them? Pardon me? Listen, I've seen E.T. I'm not stupid. You're going to dissect them. Dissect them. Or her, maybe. I'm telling you, please don't. Please don't hurt a dog because of me. I beg of you. I will... I will see what I can do, SCP-2420. Once again, thank you. Will I get to see her again? Visiting times can be arranged, especially for testing purposes. Thank you. I miss her so much. I didn't even get to tell her how good a girl she was. For, you know, being magic. Foundation offer it is were able to remain to recover the remains of SCP-2420's or pet where they had claimed them to be. The remains were not anomalous in any way and had been met with the expected amount of decay. End of interview log. Also, just checking something in the description real quick. Wow, they just completely ignored, um... 2420's request, huh? Or they didn't know about it before, or he asked. Incident 2420A. During a routine in, in session with SCP-2420 and SCP-2421, the latter was found to have reverted to its original appearance while in the presence of the former. Continued testing with SCP-2420 and other dogs showed that the SCP-2420 anomaly had most likely even extinguish. 
Currently, SCP-2420 has been allowed to perform level zero clerical work, while the, ex while the ethics committee will meet to decide what actions to take next. The object has been deemed neutralized. This interview took place immediately after S instant S wow. Immediately after instant twenty four twenty A. Was there anything different about Maddie today, SCP twenty four twenty? No, it was just like any other day. She came in, jumped around a bit, took her on a little walk, and we were just staying together. Just normal. Lounging. But I don't know. Something felt weird. You noticed it, right? She had been looking older. Even whiter in the jaw, in her snout. God, how long have I been here, Doc? Six years? Actually, ten. Jesus, well that's a long time, isn't it? But yeah, so I've been noticing she had been going in older. Which was weird since really this hasn't been 10 years for her. It's only been what? 6 hours a week for 10 years? But whatever, maybe it was stressful on her. Maybe time doesn't work like that. I don't know. True, we found that a normal timeline doesn't apply to most anomalous objects under our care. Yeah, see, but she'd been quiet and cuddly. I guess it was almost time for her to go, you know? Time's up. She always knew when it was close, time-wise. So she hopped off the couch and, you know... That actually hurt her hips a little bit, but she didn't wince or anything. She licked my hand, and she bit it, looked me in the eyes, and that's when I knew that this was going to be the last time I saw her. That's when I knew it had been so hard for her to cling in all those other dogs. I wonder how we did it. It was hard, but she loved me, I guess. And then she was gone. She let go, and she barked at me. Once. Impatient. The way she did when she had a, a, a toy and I wasn't paying attention. She grinned her stupid grin, tongue flopping. And then it was like, I don't know, like a flash. And then suddenly, she was that confused golden retriever. Poor baby. Had no clue who I was. SCP-2420 pauses and coughs. So I guess you're uh, not going to keep me around anymore, right? I suck out my memories, drop me back into the real world. That is certainly a possibility. Would you prefer that? Honestly, most people under our care would do anything to escape us. I don't want to go. I don't want to go anywhere where I'll, for where I'll forget her. I'm afraid if I go back out, I'll die without her. I don't remember how she did such strange things to be with me again. That I did such wild stuff. I'm afraid of being myself again. The old me. I'm worried I'll walk right back to that bridge. And she won't be at a dog park again. Heck, if you want, I'll clean up the toilets. Dang, 10 years? How am I going to get a job? Ten years. Jesus. I will bring that to the attention of the ethics committee. Though I make no promises. What I want to ask is, do you feel meaningfully different, SCP-2420? Certainly our conversations over the years have shown you take a turn. Do you believe it to be the medication, the enormous effects, or was it merely being allowed to see your dog again? I don't know, Doc. Probably the latter. I don't oh no. I mean, do you want me to say whether or not you think my dog somehow cured my depression? That's certainly a question that's in, been on my mind. Of course she didn't cure me. It just felt nice. That someone loved me enough to do what she did, but she's just a dog. She's not magic. 
end of interview log. All right, that was SCP-2420. Really pretty a sad story, I guess. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And try to be kind to someone else today. Make them feel oh, oh, as loved as SCP-2420, his dog, tried to make OP feel. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!